Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of uh, Cooking with Yahoo. That's not gonna be the name of that series, but I have to come up with something. So like I said in the previous video, I'm gonna come up with a new series, so it will be cooking. And this episode is gonna be baking brownies. Um, I've got my fantastic camera operator with me, Ola. And yeah, hopefully you're gonna like this recipe and uh, all the ingredients will be in the description below. We're gonna need a handful of hazelnuts, two different types of chocolate, dark and milky one, 340 grams of brown sugar, uh, vanilla extract, soda, baking powder. It's around uh, one, one tablespoon, one teaspoon, I'm sorry, and half of a teaspoon of soda. Uh, 250 grams of flour. In this case, I'm trying to make it slightly healthier, so I'm using wholemeal flour, uh, wholemeal wheat flour. If you feel, you can use spelt or whatever else you'd like, but some of uh, the different types of make it, can make the brownies slightly more dense, so be careful with it. And then we've got 250 grams of butter. I'm using salted one. So this tiny little piece is for greasing of the pan and the rest will be used for the dough. Um, two eggies. Right, so we're gonna need to melt the butter. Right, so we are adding sugar now. I'm using brown. If you guys really like white one, you're more you can feel free to use it if you really want, but I think it gives very nice like kind of caramel flavor to it Now we are adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract if you wanted more vanilla feel free to use more So we're gonna sieve the flour with the homey one is gonna be quite tricky, but what I want is just to avoid the lumps, you know? Because as you can see in here, guys, the brown part, obviously, is the, the wholemeal part. So don't worry. It's gonna take a while. Whatever is left, then you can just put it back straight away. Unless you just want to use white flour, but it will lose the whole point. Now we add half a teaspoon of soda. Now we add one teaspoon of baking powder. Thanks to my camera friend, because I was not able to open it. <laughs> right, so now we need to mix together all the dry ingredients. Yeah, it doesn't need to take too long. Sorry, my um, bra bracelet is making a sound. You don't need to use a glass container, you can just pass it, you can just whatever you want. Now we add two eggs. Like I said, you need to let it cool down a little bit, otherwise the eggs gonna end up as hard-boiled eggs, yeah? And just whisk it in. The more you're gonna whisk it, the more fluffy it will be, and it's gonna affect the, the final flavor, you know? But I would not pay too much attention, especially if you make it first time. When I made it first time, I didn't even know it makes a difference. And now we add half of the chocolate that we did into this liquid melted sugar and butter. So it will slightly melt, but not really. So we can add a little bit more. If you don't want to have any bits, then you can just put everything straight away. It's really up to you guys. Oh, sorry. So now we add the hazelnuts that we cut into the soup pieces. We still try to keep separate the dry ingredients from the wet ones. Now, we add the mixture. It may get dirty, so guys, don't worry. It's absolutely fine. I think I'm gonna have to use the help of, of the other spoonie. Kind of already smells like caramel. So, if you guys like it. And obviously, if you guys don't want to use vanilla extract, if you want to use orange, if you want to use any other extract, feel free to 
you do it in any alternative way if you want to use mint one is absolutely fine you can make it the way you like so you can stir The mixing is gonna take a while, guys, so don't worry, don't get disappointed. Just need to make sure that everything will be mixed in together properly. I would say maybe five minutes. If you want to use a whisk, you can use a whisk. Guys, I still can't believe actually I'm making food video. Challenge myself so much. My sister is waiting for it. She said she, she's gonna make it exactly the same way I'm doing it. I was like, yeah, okay, sounds like fun. And if you guys are gonna like it, definitely, definitely, I'm gonna record more. Um, and, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're getting to the right consistency. Okay, as you can see guys, now the consistency has changed slightly. And now we can add the rest of our chocolate pieces. If you guys like, want to have it less sweet, you can add less. If you are guys chocoholics, add more. As you can see now, just because the temperature went down, you're gonna have like a proper pieces of chocolate. If you don't like big pieces of chocolate, feel free to use a grater and you're gonna have a smaller pieces, yeah? Hello, so as you can see, I greased the, the baking tin with butter. If you want, you can use um, oil, whatever else, lard. So I was waiting slightly a bit too long, so my dough started to get stiff. So I'm gonna have an issue right now to put it into the tray. That should be fine. What we need to do, what's very important, is to distribute it very, very evenly. So every single guest that you're gonna have that you'll be lucky enough to try your slash mine brownie is gonna have equal parts. So, oh, okay, curva, it's hard, okay. So yeah, I use the small little spoon, or small little spoon, tablespoon, to take the rest out from the bowl and from the big spoon. And like I said, now we need to distribute it as evenly as we can. Right. So I'm evening it up more and more. And uh, no. as you can see, guys, it's not that easy. And I think I put slightly bit too much butter at the bottom, but don't worry. Life is about learning and fixing your past mistakes, including cakes as well. Okay. Okay, no, 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 no. Mr. Nohan. Okay, so let's just, you can do it like a tiny little strokes like you've got in, I know guys, you've seen the pret a manger maybe, they have got like a strokes on it because obviously then we're gonna cut it into smaller pieces. And guys, I think, Right, so uh, we've got our brownie inside our tray and I've got my special cooking apron, yeah? Uh, best gift from my friend, Kant. Apparently, that's what says about me. Anyway, um, we need to bake this beauty in 180 degrees in fan oven for 35 to 40 minutes. I can just see a flower on the, on the, um, on the, um, uh, how's it called? Lens of the <laughs> of the camera, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna show you how it looks like after 45 minutes. Hello guys, as you can see, my brownie monster is ready. And why I call it a monster? Because on the edges, it kind of developed interesting texture. It looks like these. <laughs> As you know, guys, I'm not perfect and nothing I'm gonna make is perfect. I'm just giving you a guideline. So you're gonna make it better, do it and show me. So yeah, um, smells mad, like madness. I'm not joking. So yeah, I'm gonna show you later when it's gonna cool down how to cut it. 
Right guys, so it's been a while, I think it's cold enough, so we're gonna cut the first piece. It's not straight, <laughs> like me. <laughs> um, well, maybe let's cut in like little pieces like that. Right, it doesn't look that bad, okay. Let me transfer it in here. So we've got two separate brownies. As you can see, they've got a very nice, sorry, I'm gonna use my fingers, but that's fine, I'm gonna eat it. Um, a bit of like nuts and everything is thoroughly done. And guys, I'm really sorry, but I have to try it. Mm. I'm not faking it, it's fucking good. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. Sorry for eating on the version. It tastes fantastic. And the nuts, actually, the ah, my camera woman is eating as well. So uh, definitely hazelnuts are the best because they get very like nutty toasted flavor. So I'll see you guys. I'm sorry, I'm speaking with my full mouth. In another episode. And if you're gonna follow my instructions, it's gonna be fantastic, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye bye. Guys, seriously, so good, I can't help myself. Right, so we will need handful of it. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs>